Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on PLC programming. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the concept of cascading timers. At the first place, let us look at the basic definition of what cascading timers is all about. The programming of two or more timers together is called cascading. What does that mean? For example, if we have two or more timers and we are connecting them back to back in this particular fashion, then this concept is called as cascading. But wait, in practical applications, can we cascade them in this particular fashion? No, that's not possible. In order to understand this in a much better way, let us consider a typical example. This example contains an input connected to the light load through two different timers. The address of the first timer is T40 and the address of the second one is T41. The T40 address is used in this particular contact. The T41 address is used in this particular contact. Now, how does this circuit operate? Once I press the push button switch, the contact gets energized. Consequently, the rung gets energized. The on delay timer gets energized. According to the working of on delay timer, the enable bit goes high instantly and the timer starts counting values. Since the preset value is 30,000, it counts values up to 30,000 seconds. And once 30,000 seconds is done, the done bit goes high. Once the done bit goes high, instantly the same address is used over here. As a result, this contact also goes high. The run gets energized, the on delay timer, the second one in this case will get synergized. Now, the enable bit corresponding to it will go to high state instantly. And the timer starts counting values from 1 and goes up to 12,000 seconds. Once 12,000 seconds is completed, the done bit goes high and the same done bit address is used over here. Now the run gets energized and the current starts flowing through the load and the light starts glowing in this particular fashion. So what are we able to achieve in this case? We are able to achieve a 42,000 second delay by using two different timers. And this concept is called as cascading. How do we say so? If you carefully observe, only after counting 30,000 seconds, the next timer started and it started counting 12,000 seconds. So one after the another operation over here is called as cascading. And you can have n number of timers in this particular fashion by using the same address. But the question is, why do we need cascading? Why can't we use one particular timer to count 42,000 seconds? That might be a common question that you might be having now. The answer is pretty simple and straightforward. In certain PLCs, the maximum count value of timers might be 32,767. This is just an example. It can be any value depending upon the number of bits that the PLC is designed to operate for. So in that case, if we want to count values more than 32,767 seconds, then we have to go for an additional timer. And that can be achieved by using cascading. And that is why we need the concept of cascading and it is popularly used in a lot of different applications. I hope in today's video, you were able to understand the concept of cascading timers. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Meet you guys in another video. Thank you.